then he wasn't independent on them. Was Jesus all-knowing? So they say, Jesus is all-knowing, let's think. We're all-knowing, but he was man. He wasn't all-knowing. He was man. Not just that. On top of that, he was asked. People, they came, they were thinking, is he God or is he not God? Let's, 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 let's examine him. Let's, let's see. The Jews, they said to him, when is the hour? A test. Uh, this is a test. The one who knows the hour is the God. They know this. They know this. If he said the God, if he said he knows the hour, that's it. He's God. No one knows. He said, no one knows about the hour. Neither the Son, nor the Holy Ghost, nor the angel. No one knows about the hour except the Father. Is he all-knowing now? No, but he's got the Father. Yes, so he, who is all-knowing? God himself. The Father. Yes. According to Jesus. Who is all-powerful? That's right. Yeah. Has a will. Does Jesus has a will? Independent will? Not while he was on earth. No. It doesn't matter. He was created. He was what? Created. In the beginning, the word was uh, the word was God. Then the word became God. So, be meaning the word became created by who? By God. By God. So he wasn't independent. And not just that. When he was asked about this, what he said, let it need, let it be not my will, your will. Meaning, he did not have a will. We'll question the, give the question back again. Is Jesus God according to this? Are you saying? No, I don't okay, want. Look, I, 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 I don't want you just to hear. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. To bring what is in your heart. Seriously, in your heart. When when you say it that way, then obviously you can see there's two different people. More, more. We don't say spirit. The spirit is the creation of God. What do you say in a, the spirit is the creation of God? What do you say in a Muslim? Muslim, Muslim. No, we don't say spirit. Well, the spirit. No, no. The spirit is the creation of God. The spirit is the creation of God. The, the spirit is not God. Okay, how do you define spirit? The spirit is the creation of God. We cannot. We don't know. We cannot comprehend. How do you, how do you define God? Then? We define God, the one who created the heavens and earth. He is all-knowing, all-powerful, has a will, independent from all of these things, sufficient from all of can, these can things. Can you be seen? That he sees things and he is no, not, can, can not with, our, with, our, with our parameters, but yes, could be seen. Can we see him though, demons? Not now. Could we, could we see him? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yes, we can see him in the hereafter. Yes, we can see him, yes. Because he is a thing, he is not nothing, he is a thing. And he has attributes. And he has an image that befits his majesty and glory. Yeah? And so he, does, he defined himself that he has an image that befits his majesty and glory. So that's why he can be seen, based on that, that he has an image. Let me ask a question, brother. Yes. Something went wrong. Yeah? In the sense of going back to the 1600s. But what? Because Jews. Muslims, they were living together. Am I correct? Leave the Jews now. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this uh, Christianity. We're, we're, listen, we're, we can, it. we can, no, we can go all over the place. Listen, let's let's focus. So let's focus. We are digging another hole. Go on. Seriously. So no Let, let's focus on our the main one. The main one. The main. Uh, the, we did that already, no? No, I wanted. We wanted just to focus on this. When we finish, when we get the treasure out of this, then we talk to. We'll, to, we'll go to another, another hole. Yeah. Let's focus on this. Now go back to the thing. If Jesus is not all-powerful, if Jesus is not all-knowing, if Jesus doesn't have a will, independent will, is by this definition, Jesus is not God. Correct? Correct. Are you I want you to know. I want. I want an answer, brother. I want an answer. Be honest. Listen, be, be honest. honest. Be Say. I understand. We have. We have inclination to the things that we brought up with. Because the Bible says that God. Jesus made, made, made lower. That means he came to earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Was he divine? He was he divine? Did he come as a divine? No. So he wasn't divine? No. That's another problem. Okay. So God will send another something, not a divine. So Jesus wasn't a divine? No. no you exactly. No. So he wasn't divine? No. So why do you worship him then? He came for a purpose. So, so if, if he is not a divine, why do you worship him? Even whatever you name it. So Adam as well came on earth. God created Adam and sent him to earth. He wasn't the divine. So we don't worship Adam. So if Jesus, God created Jesus and he wasn't divine. No, we don't worship Adam. We do not worship Adam. 
and he was created in heavens and Allah sent him down. Yeah, no problem. But to say Jesus is a divine, you say he wasn't divine here, so why we need to worship him? So he doesn't deserve to be worshipped if, if he wasn't a divine. The one who deserves to be worshipped is the God himself. That's all. That's my point. That's all our discussion is about. So let's go back to the point. If Jesus is not a divine, he doesn't deserve to be worshipped, correct? That's what you say. But uh, I, I told you before, before, before the argument started, I'm still looking deeper into that myself. I want you to listen. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, there is no trap. Listen, <laughs> listen trap. things. No, there's no trap. No, no. Those are things straightforward. You want to? You want to? You want to? Uh, my brother, my brother. Let's think good about each other. Firstly, I'm not here to trap you. I'm not here to trick you. I'm not here. I'm here to show you the guidance. I, I, I'm sincerely I'm, here. I'm here to examine. I, and I am sincere. I am sincerely here to show you the guidance, the true guidance. I'm not here to trap you. I'm not here to trick you. I'm not here to show to misguide you. I'm here to show you the guidance, the true guidance. And I'm here to examine more about Muhammad, his lifestyle. No problem. We'll, we'll come. Let's, let's talk about the God of Muhammad before Muhammad. Let's talk about the God of Muhammad and the God of Jesus. Then we we'll talk about Muhammad and Jesus. Before, oh, no, no, I came to you to Muhammad. Before, yeah, I understand. Let's talk about the God, yes, the yes. Creator, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Because if me and you, let's say we say, if we are one page, then we'll discuss about other things. That's why. But, wait, but let's go to the fundamental. That's why. That's why I went back to the, to the beginning. But I, I, I was going to ask you, what went wrong? What went That's wrong what when the Christian went wrong? When the Christian uh -huh. started worshiping Jesus, uh -huh. and instead of no, worshiping no, no, the God of Jesus, no, no, before that, go and guess. Yeah, when the G when the Christian start worshiping Jesus, and instead of worshiping the God of Jesus, that what went wrong. That's what exactly went wrong. So that's why I'm saying to you, go back to the origin, what Jesus was preaching. Jesus never said to the people, worship me. Jesus was saying to the people, I am going to my God and your God, my father and your father. Jesus prostrated to God, worship the God. Jesus showed that he is submitting to, to, the, to the creator. Jesus, he was, this, this is what he was teaching. He said, he said, oh, you people of Israel, our Lord Father is one. Our, not me, not I am, our, me and everyone there attending there. Our, our, our Lord Father is one, our God is one. He was saying this. So Jesus was preaching oneness of God. Yes, sir. So he wasn't teaching about Trinitarian no, things. That's right. I believe that. What? I believe that. He was teaching one Trinitarian. God, one, God. one God. Good. So if that's one God, why do we need to worship Jesus? The other thing, I ask all the Christians here in the park. All of them, they pretty much answer the same, the same answer. I said to them, in the hereafter, there is, in the day of resurrection, who are you going to see? The God. Who are you going to see? So we're going to see Jesus. Said. What about the Father? So yes, we see the Father and Jesus. You see, you know what they say? They say, we'll see the Father sitting on the throne. Mentioned in the Bible. On his right hand side, Jesus will be sitting. How many? How many? Are we talking about one? Are we talking about the one God? As I told you in the beginning, listen to me. Yeah. I told you in the beginning, that's one. I have to look into that deeper. Myself. So what, what's your heart? Listen. I told you, bro. That's what's why, your heart saying that's to you? That's why I'm digging. And, uh, what's your heart saying to you now? Sincerely. Listen, leave, leave all this thing. Listen. What's sincerely your heart saying to you now? I believe yeah. that Jesus came. Yes? So, how can I put it? Have you heard the word redemption? Redemption. Redemption, redemption of what? Sin? Yeah. Yes. If Jesus was, a, if, well, let me, let that's, me. That's my heart. That's what changing my heart. Okay. Do you know? Do you know that's wrong? Yes. Because you are, you are, you are accusing God to be, to be oppressor. You know, I will tell you something. An oppressor. For example, Hitler was was Christian. So they say. Al Capone was a Christian. So they say. Yeah. Cool Christian. Uh, Christian. Cool, cool, cool Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many people they claim to be Christian. They are. They? So, so Jesus died for them. Bush was a. Yeah. Bush, 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 George Bush, 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 George Bush was a Christian. Churchill was a Christian. Yeah. He died, uh, he died for humanity. You know, many, many people, many people are Christian. Did Jesus die for these, for these people? Humanity. Listen, brother. No, no, no. One second. Do you think God? The one who is full that's, of justice. That's my belief anyway. Listen, you know do you think God, the one who is full of justice, will, will sacrifice an innocent person for the sins of the evildoers? Will God sacrifice an innocent person 
which has not has done nothing in his life except preaching the word of God will God sacrifice this individual for the sins of people like look alike Hitler and Al Capone and all these filthy scumbags God himself do you think God will do that do you think God is fair if he does this for example you made a mistake and I killed this guy what what he did he didn't do nothing he was he you know he didn't do nothing so if God is fair the punishment is the people who have who deserve the punishment. So if, if your son kills somebody, yes, I know I became. He's not my son. No. Exactly. Yeah. So I became an advocate for him. Do you know, do you know what an advocate is? I, I speak on behalf. I say, your God, for example, Allah, he did wrong. I'll take the blame for what he did. You don't agree with that? Philosophy? No, that's, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. In this court, they will not accept it. Go to the court here. Go, go, go to any court. You go to any court, any crime, any criminal, commit any crime. It does, it doesn't go with logic even as as, as for a human being. Go even if you are if you are an advocate, if you are a solicitor. Go, you know what? Yeah, my client he killed this guy, but you know what? Take me instead, just leave him. So Do you think we'll accept it? Did OJ, did OJ Simpson go away? What? Did OJ Simpson? What's that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not following the, the news. But my point is, my point is, my point is, in the court system here, with our own human standard, we don't accept it. We say this is not just. This is not fair. How the standard of God will be just and fair? See, God can't limit God in a box. No, 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 no. We, we don't say. But God has attribute that befits His Majesty. Is God is just and fair? Just. So if he's just will kill someone and so for the for the same someone else. That's why, listen, if he did it, there'd be no hope for that. No, that's my point. My point is he wasn't there. Listen, think about it. God will not sacrifice an innocent person for the sins of someone else. If he is fair and just. That's my point. Okay. So what what would he do in a circumstance? What would he do? Who? Of course. What, this is what God is saying. God is saying to the people, repent to me and accept your repentance. As simple as, it is simple and straightforward thing. Repent and will accept your repentance. Simple. It is so simple. It is as easy as that. Even, even Jesus, this is, what, this is what Jesus always used to say to the people. He would say to them, repent. Repent. You know, admit your sins to God. So if you repent and you admit your sins to God and ask God forgiveness, God will forgive. As simple as that. So can I, can I repent to Allah? Can I do that? Yes. And you forgive me? Yes. Who do I go to? Muhammad or Allah? Would Allah, I... Allah. Muhammad is only a messenger conveying the message. So, Allah, you go to Allah. Muhammad, Allah, and all the prophets and messengers came to tell you you don't have, you don't need to have someone between you and Allah. You are directly linked to Allah directly. You directly ask forgiveness and will forgive. And Allah says in the Quran, Who is responding to the call of the one who calls? Except Allah. The one who is in need. Allah is the one who responds to the call, to the supplication of the one who is in need. Yeah? And remove the harm. I will make you successor on earth. Who is God? Who is divine with Allah? Allah says in the Quran, as your Lord saying to you, call me, call, supplicate, supplicate for me, and I will respond to your supplication. This is what God is saying. You do need Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be between you and God. One last question, but very, very important, important to me. So do you accept what I said? I will examine, examine. One more question. Yes. Say, for example, now, if I'm, uh, if I'm a Muslim, yes. and I read the Quran, Muslim, yeah. would that be okay? Yeah, that's okay. So the Quran I read in English, is it authentic? Is that problem? It's a translation. It's a translation. That's, that's okay, yeah? It's a translation. It gives you the idea. It's not necessarily the, the exact, the exact, the exact the Quran. It gives you the understanding of the Quran. You have set me as a brother, yeah? Do you want to accept this now? No, I'm saying to you. I... You are you are a brother in humanity. No problem. I have no issues against you. <laughs> but you're not, not my brother in Islam. Because Allah says in the Quran, the believers are brothers. So he is my brother in, in my faith. You are a brother in humanity. No problem. I have, no, I have nothing against you. As long as you don't, you don't, you don't harm me, I don't harm you. That's it. But he is my brother in, in faith. Meaning, 
I take him as my own, better yeah. than my own blood brother. Yeah, but I want to say, if I, if, I, if I convert it, for example, and I read the Quran in English, it, it's okay? Yes, okay, no problem. And I will teach you, and I will help you to read, and I will help you to learn the Quran, and I will help you to come close to Allah. So, my brother. Do I, do I, do I have to uh, read Arabic, Arabic? Not in the beginning. I will teach but I, you. But I have to? Not, not in the beginning. As I said, uh, later on, you will, you will be, you wanted to know what God is talking to you. You wanted to know. You wanted to know how Allah spoke the verses of, of the Quran. This is the beauty of the Quran. The Quran is a book memorized by more than 12 million people on earth. Vast majority of them, 90% of them, they are non-Arabs. They know it. <laughs> they know it letter by letter, vowel by vowel. Vowel by vowel. Listen. He's not Arab, yeah? He's not Arab. I will say something, he will say to me this is wrong. He's not Arab, yeah? Maybe he doesn't understand. I will say, listen brother, I will say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Did he rectify me? Is he Arab? No, he said no. He's not Arab. So the point is, how did he know? He a common language. No, he doesn't speak Arabic. No, what was he common ideology? N not because of ideology. Because the Quran is memorized by 12 million people on earth, my brother. 12 million people on earth, they are not small number. One book memorized from his country and from all other countries. People, even children as young as six years old, they cannot even speak one sentence in Arabic. And yet they memorize the whole Quran. Six years old. Six years old. Open, check, look, look on Google. See, see, look at the, see the youngest child. Ch children, non Arab, I will show you. Why we go far? That's the advantage of uh, and that's, uh, that shows you that shows you how easy it is. Uh, is it poetic? If you accept is it, Islam? Is it a poetic uh, language? Uh, yes. That's, okay. If look, you look, look. Islam, it will be, inshallah, easy on you. If it, just allow you know, and make it easy for you. Yeah. Look, my brother. Look, my brother. Who's this? This is this from somewhere in Russia. Look, people from all over the place, Akhi, from Africa, from different places, the people, children, Akhi, children. This guy from, the, from Russia, another one from Africa, from another one from all over the world. This is from Malaysia, Indonesia. How? How do you know? How do you know it? Do you know how they know it? Very small, they practice, yeah? Do you know how they know it? Allah, Allah told us in the Quran, practice, practice, practice. Not, not just only practice, it is it's God told us. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We have revealed down this book, the revelation, and we'll be protecting it. How Allah will protect it? Through memorization by all these millions of Muslims, they memorize it throughout the world. That's how it is. That's the beauty of it. Tell me any book like this. Bring me one single example. I mean, recitation. No. Memorized. No, no, it's only No, no book was memorized by this. This is America. That's itself this America. That to show you that how the Quran was preserved throughout this time. Do you understand, my brother? My brother. So that's a bit of Islam. So that's why you would love to learn the Quran. You would love to understand the Quran. I'm, I'm examining Muhammad, Muhammad's life story. I mean, that's what okay. I came to you. And, and his life story is so miraculous. To the extent that he is someone, someone, think about it. He ruled the all, most of Arab Peninsula. Yes? In his time. And he had the authority to do whatever he wished. Do you know when he was dying? Yeah? He had 12 coins in his house, 12 oh, dirhams, <laughs> 12. 12, 12, and he was rich, well, he was a, he was no, no, 12 silver coins, you know what he said to his wife Aisha, he said donate these coins, I don't want to meet Allah having anything with me, so someone he could be, he could have a mansion, he could have all of these things, he had these, these tiny rooms that he had for his wives, that's all, nothing else. And those, those rooms for them, not for him. And he, they didn't have even that, someone who lived in a humble way and died in a humble way, sallallahu alayhi wa He could have his own thing. Before, even oh, after his oh. death, he said to the people, don't build, don't build tomb in my, don't build shrine in my grave. 
He said, don't take my grave as a place of celebration. Just keep it humble to the floor. God bless you. After you the call, can you speak up? Now, my question is to you, before you take the call. Actually, you know, let's listen. Yes. I can't just do that, brother. I told you. I can't jump into the fire. I, I can't swim. You are not jumping in the fire. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are saving yourself from the fire. I can't swim. So I have to learn to swim. I am teaching you. Listen, come with us. Listen. I told you, Christianity doesn't make sense according to you, what we have discussed today. I wouldn't say it wouldn't make sense, but. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for your information. Blessed. All right. Look after yourself, and you are welcome anytime. time. Are you every day? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we try to come every Sunday. We try to come. You see this brother? He will help you. This brother is very knowledgeable. Thank you, my brother. No problem.